Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on my channel. For those of you who are new, hi, my name is Zena. I am a certified esthetician and nail technician in Saskatchewan, Canada. So I have a really exciting video for you guys today. I have the brand new Fusion Spring 2018 Sparkles and Colors Collections. So in each of the sparkles and the colors, there is six brand new colors. They are the Ooh La La Spring Collection. So I do know that this collection is inspired from um, French macaroons, I believe is how you say, those little like cookie things with the filling inside. I think they're macaroons. Anyway, so that is what this set is inspired by. They are very soft colors and their kind of description is soft and sweet. So let's flip the camera around. I have taken a look at the colors, but the sparkles are still all nicely packaged up and you will see my first impressions of the sparkles. So in this video, we will be doing opening them up, swatching them, and if I have any colors that I think may be similar, I will do some comparisons as well. So let's get started. Okay, so here we have the six brand new colors. So because they are inspired from the French macaroons, some of the names are French. I believe, yes, all the ones in the Sparkles collection are French, but the colors have three English names and then three French names. So I will do my best. I may butcher the accent, but bear with me. So we have citron, which is lemon. We have framboise, which is raspberry. Blueberry, l'orange, which is orange. Lavender and mint. So let's open these up and get them swatched. Okay, another thing I do know about this collection is that they are all kind of linen inspired, so they are all your very, very soft tones of linen. Okay, so up first we have L'Orange, which is a very stunning, super soft orange. And that is showing up true to life in my camera. So the consistency of these is similar to the new formulation of Fusion. So it's still your thick builder formula, but it is a little bit more self-leveling than what their original formula was. And I'm just kind of floating this slash painting it on to this stick. Okay, I am noticing a little bit of difficulties up here, but that's also because I'm doing the inside of the swatch stick. That is so, so pretty. Okay, I'm going to cure that. Okay, and while that cures, I want to compare L'Orange on my left to Pastel's Orange. Okay, so there is really no comparison between these two. Pastel's Orange is definitely, it looks almost neon in comparison. So that was one thing I was worried about in this collection because I do own all the Fusion Pastels and I was worried that they would be similar but especially this orange one is not the case whatsoever. Okay and there is L'Orange. So a very 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 soft orange. It's definitely almost more of a neutral rather than an orange. Okay up next we have Blueberry. And blueberry is a super light pastel blue. I'm trying to float this one on a little bit more than what I floated on the orange one. All right, there is blueberry. I'm going to cure this. Okay, and here is a comparison of blueberry on the left and pastels blue on the right. So again, they are not similar whatsoever. Okay, so here is blueberry once fully cured. So it's a very, very soft, kind of like sky blue color. Okay, up next we have framboise. And this is a stunning pink. This color will be so popular in my collection. My clients love pink. And there's framboise. So I'm going to cure that. 
Okay, and here is your comparison between framboise and pastels pink. So again, no comparison whatsoever. Pastels pink, as you can see, is very popular with my clients. I need to repurchase it. But I honestly think framboise will take over its place. Okay, so I also wanted to compare framboise with Fusion's Be Mine from their limited edition Valentine's collection. So they are a little bit more similar. Be Mine is definitely darker and Be Mine also has a pearl finish to it, whereas framboise is just a flat color. So that's how those two compare. And then lastly I wanted to compare Framboise with Work Bitch from the Fall 2017 collection. So Work Bitch is definitely more on the peachy side. They are similar in, to in terms of the lightness of them. However, Work Bitch is definitely peach whereas Framboise is pink. Okay, and there is framboise. Okay, up next we have lavender. So again, a very, very soft purple. These I am pleasantly surprised with. They don't appear to be shadowing too much. Lighter colors are always a little bit more prone to shadowing. But honestly, you float these on and there is like virtually no shadowing in there. Okay, here's a comparison of Lavender and Pastels Purple. These Ula La Collection colors are honestly blowing me away because I always thought that the Fusion Pastels were the best pastels out there, but these Ula La ones are totally making them almost appear neon. Okay, and here is Lavender. Okay, up next we have Mint which is a stunning green. I don't even know what to call this green. It's almost like a seafoam green. And there is mint. Okay, and here is mint and pastels green. Out of all of them so far, these ones are definitely the closest in shade. But as you can tell, they are definitely not really similar whatsoever. Okay, and here is mint. Okay, and the last color in this collection is citron, which is a stunning linen yellow. Oh, I can see so many sets done with this color. It will pair so nicely with so many different things. Yellow is definitely not popular in my studio, but I have a feeling that this yellow will be changing that. Okay, and there is Citron. Okay, and here is Citron compared to Pastel's Yellow. This definitely makes yellow look very much neon. Such a huge difference. This color, I feel like, will become one of my favorites out of this collection. Okay, and here is Citron. Okay, so here is the entire collection. These colors are absolutely stunning. I definitely think that Citron and Framboise, the yellow one and the pink one, will become my favorites. They are stunning, stunning. However, all of them are very nice and light and perfect for spring. Okay, so up next, let's take a look at the Ooh La La Spring Sparkles collection. So this packaging definitely kind of screams French macaroons to me. They have the little cookies along the bottom with their names, person having some tea. So let's open these up, and I have not looked at these, so you are getting my first impression of these colors. Okay, so here are the six sparkles in this Spring 2018 Fusion collection. So we have Mon Chéri, Ooh La La, L'Amour, Mademoiselle, J'Adore, and Chateauier. So let's open these up and you are getting my first impressions. I am so excited to see what these look like. FYI, FYI you may not know what Chateauier is. 
It means to gleam, glisten, shimmer. So I am very excited. Let's start with that one. Okay, so up first we will look at Chatoyer. I may not be pronouncing that right, but... Ooh, -hoo -hoo. gleam and glisten is right. Oh, that is so, so pretty. It is a gorgeous, soft yellow glitter. Look at how sparkly that is. My camera doesn't even really want to focus on it. Okay, this consistency of these seems to be a little bit different than the last batch. It seems to be a lot thinner. It's still not going to move anywhere and is a thicker gel. But compared to some of their other sparkles, this seems to be a lot thinner. So it has almost a yellow base with yellow flecks, tiny yellow flecks, and along with some holographic tiny fine glitter as well. Okay, so there is Chatoyer, a very stunning, almost chartreuse glitter. Okay, up next, let's take a look at Mademoiselle. Oh my goodness. This is a sea foam glitter if I have ever seen one. So for some reason I definitely thought these were matte glitters, but these two definitely are not. These glitters are so, so soft. They will pair perfectly with those colors. And there is Mademoiselle. So it's got a very, very fine seafoam green in it, along with those holographic ones. Okay, so I know these ones probably don't look like they compare, and they really don't, but I thought I'd grab them just to show you. So we have Mademoiselle on the left, and Fusion's Jessie's Girl on the right. Jessie's Girl does have some of those seafoam glitters in them, but definitely don't compare whatsoever. But okay, and there is Mademoiselle. Okay, up next we have J'adore. Okay, this is gorgeous. So this one does appear to have some matte sparkles in it, or matte glitters. I don't know, do you call matte glitters? I'm not sure. But it definitely has some matte pieces in it. So it almost has those matte soft purple and then it has those iridescent pieces in them as well. That is stunning. My camera is so not doing these glitters justice and I apologize. Okay, and here is J'adore in comparison with Cabo Wabo which is from the 2017 spring collection. But I always thought that Cabo Wabo was a gorgeous soft purple, but it looks so dark in comparison to J'adore. Okay, and there is J'adore. Okay, up next we have L'Amour. This is a baby pink glitter if I have ever seen one. So again, it looks like it has the matte pieces paired with the holographic, iridescent, whatever you want to call it, chunks. These glitters are definitely very unique with the combination of the matte with the iridescent. I really, really like how they look. And there is L'Amour. Okay, this is L'Amour in comparison with Signorita from last year's spring collection. So you can tell that L'Amour is definitely way, way softer. They both have that iridescent glitter in them, but L'Amour is a very, very pale pink, whereas Signorita is kind of a medium pink. Okay, and then I also wanted to compare it to Hashtag Girl Boss from the Fall Collection, I believe it was. Fall 2017 Collection. So these ones are definitely a little bit more similar. However, with the matte chunks in L'Amour, they're really not very comparable. They both have that iridescent. Hashtag Girl Boss has some bigger, chunkier glitters in it. And the L'Amour has the baby, baby pink matte glitters. And there is L'Amour. Okay, up next we have Mon Cherie. Oh, this is so pretty. 
Okay, this one doesn't appear to have the matte in it. It appears to just be glitters like the first two I showed you. But this is a, such a pretty soft orange glitter. I really, really like the consistency of these glitters. They're nice and thin. And there is Mon Chéri. Okay, so this is Mon Chéri in comparison to Sparkling Oasis from the Spring 2017 collection. So these ones are fairly similar. I would say Mon Chéri is a little bit more transparent than Sparkling Oasis and a touch more orange, whereas Sparkling Oasis, in my opinion, is a touch more beige. Okay, so I just wanted to give you a color comparison on the swatches because they do differ a little bit from the pots. So on my left here is Mon Chéri and on my right is the Sparkling Oasis. So on the swatches, they are definitely more different than they appeared in the pots. I would still say that Mon Chéri is more transparent and Sparkling Oasis is a little more beige. And there is Mon Chéri. Okay, and the last sparkle we have is Ooh La La, which is the name of this collection, so that is why I saved it for last. Oh my. Okay, so this one has the matte glitters in it as well, so this collection appears to be split, three with matte and three without matte. The matte and the iridescent, and this is an absolutely stunning blue. This definitely reminds me of the ocean. It is so pretty. And there is Ooh La La. Okay, I know these don't really compare whatsoever, but I just wanted to show them to you in case you had this one in your collection. So this is Ooh La La in comparison to Glass Bottom Boat. So they are completely different shades of blue. They both have the iridescent glitter in them, but Ooh La La is matte and Glass Bottom Boat is just glitter. And there is Ooh La La. Okay, so these are the six colors. They are so, so, so pretty. I absolutely love this collection. They remind me of Easter and Easter eggs. They are absolutely gorgeous colors. I love the mix of the holographic iridescent glitters along with the matte glitters. They pair perfectly with the colors. So pretty. Okay, so here we have all 12 colors from this Fusion Spring 2018 Ooh La La collection. It is available for pre-order now and it is released on March 6th. So we have Mon Chéri, L'Orange, Mademoiselle, Mint, Chatoyer, Citron, Lavender, J'adore, Framboise, L'Amour, Blueberry, and Ooh La La. Such a stunning, perfect spring collection. This absolutely screams spring. There is not a single color that I would not say belongs in this collection. They are absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. You've nailed it, Fusion. Be sure to check back every Monday for new videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye for now.